Welcome to uh, another episode of Here's the Deal. What can I say? Coronavirus is giving me pretty hard. Been held up in this basement for the past three episodes, trying to make you guys smile, and I uh, haven't seen the sun. But I have a guest, and he's kind of a big deal around Sacramento. He's a musician, and I didn't really ask him to be on the show, but he, he saw the past two episodes, and as you know, my other followers, I mean, this show's huge out there, so everybody knows it now. But he said, Kevin, you look kind of sad those past two episodes. We got to cheer you up. This is Eric Maroney coming on the show. He's going to try to cheer me up today, guys. So uh, welcome, Eric, everybody. You could start clapping here. Kevin. Hey, how you doing? You look like you need some sunshine in your life. Oh, yeah. Well, Liquid sunshine. I mean, I have been drinking quite heavily, but I mean, maybe wine will cheer me up. You're right. Really? How does that make you feel? Let's talk about it. Well, you know, I don't have a therapist, so this could be good for me, the way this is going so far. Yeah. Um, well, I don't know. I mean, I just... I just wanted to start this podcast for people that, you know, we're going through the coronavirus and have nothing else to watch on TV because <laughs> the film industry is down. No mm -hmm. one's making movies anymore unless you make animations or video games. But who wants to play video games? Those are for nerds. OK, I never played a video game in my life. I don't know. It's just uh, it's starting to get to me. And I, I, I thought that having you on the show might make it a little better. All right, Kevin, I got three <clears throat> survival tips for you. OK. One, when you what? wake up, yeah, just take a drink. I know. Uh, water? Nope, whiskey. Whiskey. You want bourbon or whiskey? Okay. You want to start the day off right. Yeah. All right. Step two. After the whiskey. Okay. Whis it's time to do yoga. Got to get in touch <sighs> with yourself. Yoga time. Okay. I can do that. I talked with Joe. I do run. Last time okay. we talked about running and run half marathons. You and can't run outside. Oh. The corona. Okay. Yeah. It's going to get you. All right, and let's let it reiterate that people stay inside. Stop throwing parties. A lot of yeah. millennials. It's just so frustrating. Yeah, I'm tired of them. Um, I mean, obviously, I'm old enough. I'm 29. I've never done any millenni millennial things in my life. Nope. Um, yeah, I have a craft beer every once in a while, so sue me. Yeah. But does that make me a millennial? Here, I got you a small glass of wine. That's just a small one. Yeah. That's kind of your... Um, That's just a small glass of wine. Kind of in Lord of the Rings. They have that tea time about five times a day. You only want... Ooh. What is that? Uh, Gliss Cellars. You know what this tastes like? What? This, I... Also on the last episode, this is actually making me a little happier right now. Mm -hmm. um, it tastes like Gushers. One of the flavors. Uh, is there Gushers in that wine? I'm serious. There are Gushers. Um, gushers expired welch's grape juice oh i knew yeah. that i was tasting something grapey tip three sorry i cut reach you reach out to old friends reach out to old friends. or more importantly reach out to old bullies and send them like a box of tacks that's what i would do can't go outside because corona monsters corona monsters i've seen a few well what do they look like to you they're all on bikes they gather together and then uh they head out on little excursions <laughs> to, to get more corona yeah yes yeah to infect each other because that's oh they probably oh we better i love coronas so much you know and that's what i really hate people going out and comparing corona the drink to corona the, i love coronas and now i don't want to drink them because i think they have corona in them no they do oh well then there you go don't drink corona sorry we're not sponsored by them but you know what we are sponsored so can i take a quick break to yeah, do a yeah, sponsor yeah. i mean this is how we make our money this is how we make the big money this is what to do what to do by jack strawberry uh, not in stores, not on Amazon. I just this copy. What was what was well, your favorite part? You know, going through the book. Was there uh, kind of the what's the emotional journey here? Well, the uh, I mean, some of the chapters are just about how to walk. What to? I mean, just oh. what do you do when you're learning how to walk? I mean, I I wish I would have had this when I was a baby. Jack Strawberry, sign me up. Yeah. No. Well, okay. So that's enough of that. So Eric is a musician, by mm -hmm. the way, if people don't know. Uh, he actually is a big musician in Sacramento. And he's making his way around town and making big things. Not spreading the coronavirus, I hope, but spreading the music of love. I love love. Yeah, so do I. 
I don't feel like I have a lot of it right now, but it's been really hurting lately. Can we talk about the meaning of love? Like, do you love me? I would say I love you, but... But? <laughs> yeah, big butt. Uh, no, because you have a big butt. And big booties do big don't butt. lie, people. We, uh... Sacramento's so, got big booties. I don't think enough people know that about Sacramento. They go, you see, what do you even hear about Sacramento? That we have farm, local fresh food? Do people even care about that? It's not the city of trees. It's the city of big booties. Booties and better looking assholes. Take a look inside should be our motto. You know, one thing about Corona, speaking of um, assholes, mm -hmm. a lot of people are sending lewd photos. And that's the one thing I, I don't love about Corona is there's a lot of uh, quarantine and chill, if you know what I'm saying. People are sending like sex videos to yeah. each other? Yeah, or pictures. Well, I'm not getting any of those. Apparently, you're a little more popular with the ladies than I am, but... I'm just getting Could assholes. you share these? We we're definitely friends yeah. on Facebook, and um, I don't think you've ever shared one of those videos with me. So I'm going to be honest. It's just, it's just me sending them out. Oh. And that's what's really bringing me down, guys. No, but there's so many great things. Like, we can right. reconnect with our roommates. We can, yes. We can play video games that and, make us remember our childhood. And what do you do with your roommates? You actually have a unique situation where all of you are... Musicians. They're musicians. We were just playing today. I, want, I waited and he said it. That was pretty cool. We read each other's... Sandwiches. Sandwiches. Yeah. Read... Yeah, I knew you were going to say that. Sandwich. Yeah. Yes. We read each other's well we should have just said m Assholes. minds we're getting there yeah we're getting there uh, uh but yeah all your roommates are musicians and that's pretty cool yeah i think i think we're all we're all songwriters and t it's been a really great um time to reflect and write songs i think and our house we have rowan mcguire the great rowan um, i know that guy it, and we're thinking about he's probably gonna be on the show pretty soon if you guys haven't heard this, we'll probably put up a five-second clip right now. There's nothing that I'm missing when I got you by my side. So we're all we're all playing together. Um, Anna, Jackson, Rowan, and I uh, uh -huh. make up the Rowan McGuire group, and then each of us have our own stuff. Um, yeah, that's what's so cool about you guys. Kevin, you need to be cheered up, buddy. Hey, look at this, everybody. Eric Maroney brought his guitar on the Here's the Deal podcast. Here's the Deal podcast. Here's, um, the, here's the deal, guys. I want to talk to you about cheering you up. Okay. I mean, try. This could be the last chance to do it. So so do you Do you guys roll on the show? We do roll. Uh, like Molly, we like we roll balls. Like I've, that's a term I've heard. Yeah. Like a, we're rolling balls. Mm -hmm. That's what kids say. That's what millennials say, I think. How stupid. How stupid to say, oh, we're rolling balls. What do you... It's like it sounds like an old 1920s game, where like the stick in the hoop, you know. That is how we met. Yeah, it's kind of magical. Oh. Well, that tune is making me feel a little bit happier. It could be the wine. I've definitely had a little bit more wine, and I think this is starting to help too, though. Ooh. Yeah. You seem a little down, buddy. I've been down. I'm here to cheer you up. Thanks. This is Eric Maroney. Kevin, you're a little sad. A little corona got you down You're having a hard time getting a boner right But call now. me up on the telephone Cause we got stuck inside a landslide Wish I had a lighter Pull it out right now I wanna tell you I love you oh. Okay, that's nice. Yeah. The trick with uh, love songs, you gotta yeah. talk about like miscellaneous small things that we take for granted, you know? Like body parts on body people. Body parts. Yeah. Your arms are so big. Thank you. Your eyes are like melted Kit Kats on the lawn of a driveway. Hmm, I can picture that. I know you like candy, baby. <laughs> You're candy to me. Mm. Gushers? Am I gushers? I don't know if that's if candy. If I take some gushers and put them down, mm. some expired Welch's grape juice. Which is in this, by the way. We'll drink it all night, curled up 
on the couch But six feet away Cause it's Corona We're getting higher and higher Kevin, don't let me down I know you're not getting enough Bleached assholes on your phone In a picture getting down Yeah, cause you haven't sent me any But that doesn't mean you're not pretty Cause you're pretty to me Thank you Let's stay inside and quarantine and chill mm. Baby this is like smooth jazz, Kenny G, baby. Shut the fuck up. Don't ever what? say that again. What? Don't you ever fucking compare me to Kenny G. What? He's, He's a, a great a... guy. Kenny G. All right, I'm sorry, Eric. I'm sorry. Don't leave. Please don't leave. No, this is literally the highest ratings we've ever had on this show. All right, well, I think that's a good time to wrap up. Uh, I guess thank you to... I mean, I was feeling really great. Now he's gone. And that just sums up the coronavirus. Thanks a lot, people. Keep spreading it, damn millennials. Keep sucking each other's assholes. Eric's just standing there watching me. He hasn't actually left. There he is. There he is. Oh, he's back on the show, people. What, are you going to cheer me up again? I was feeling good, and then I'm you I'm trying left. to work on my communication skills. Okay. I'll, uh, actually, I'll take that. When you compare me to Kenny G, it makes me yeah. feel bad. Okay. And I'm working on comparing not comparing people to kenny g because yeah. i almost everybody i find a way to compare him to kenny g because that's the only person i've ever really listened to so but now i found Wait, but the, you besides no i know but now i found you guys and i've been listening besides more to you. me yeah. yeah so i'm making my way through the sacramento scene what's first. your favorite song of mine probably take me back to the steakhouse what about the one called yeah kevin yeah well that's the one you just wrote i thought nope nope it's called Corona Bona. Well, I only only listen to the Steakhouse one. Yeah. I I don't have a lot of time. I'm making this podcast 24-7. I have like... Well, but the next guests are already coming on. It's six feet between each person, I hope. Yeah, six at least. Well, and you can get to go orders here. Uh, we have packaged peanuts for you guys. That's what I'm doing. I'm doing my part. How about you? Here's the deal. I do have a question. Why is this podcast called Here's the Deal? Because we're bringing, we're bringing people on. And we're literally asking them, here's the deal. This is what's up with the world right now. Yeah. And I want to know what's going on in your life. You're yeah. knowing what's going on in my life. And you're like, here's the deal. Mm-hmm. And that's what I... That's what I I'm, I'm the only one that says that. I'm pretty sure. So... That's what's so unique about this podcast, people. You're watching something no one has ever ever done before well yeah sure sure yeah yeah i I mean yeah i'm bringing people on you're bringing people on and people don't do that nope uh can i plug my podcast i'd rather not i this happened in the first episode too the guy ryan said just yeah if you want real quick so i'm doing a podcast called so here's the thing and it's real people and um, it's diverse. We're about diversity, and um, unlike other podcasts. And uh, so here's the thing. And um, we're sponsored by Jack Strawberry. I'm sorry, man. I was just really jealous. I just wanted to take. I don't have a podcast. No, that's cool. Yeah, here's just, the thing, guys. Go jealous. check it out. What is it going to be on? Netflix. You probably got a better deal than I did, huh? Yeah. Uh, He's on Netflix, people. Go check him out. I feel like I, drinking's brought out the worst side of ourselves. I do you think, think drinking think, in coronavirus is a good idea? You could do whatever the hell you want, Eric. You're on Netflix. I think we're going to end it there, people. You know, the only reason Go I check got, them out. Yeah. Uh, let's just block that. How about just stand in front of that, Eric? Here's the thing. Check it out. Coming up this month. The only reason I got the deal is I pretended to be Aziz Anazari and Hassan Minaj. You son of a bitch. I know. I... I got something to tell you. So, okay. Hassan Minaj. Yeah. I know his mom. Not in a weird way. Kind of in a weird way. I know his mom. This part of the getting to me. Indian Association of Davis. I don't know if you know this about me. It doesn't look like... I know I look mostly Irish. My dad's Irish. Yeah, I was going to say. Half Indian. Okay. 
uh, the vitamin I D. Trust that. And so I was part of the Indian Association of Davis. I did a lot of, uh, I wore a lot of saris. Okay. They're really great for the airflow. Anyway, but but they're great. I was gonna say I do like those too. Hassan Minaj, it's like he stole my shtick, and Your I got shtick. like my shtick. Like I was the you funniest. You lost. You had a stick. I had a sh- oh a shtick. A shtick. A shtick. Oh. The thing that's inside of us. The it's probably who we are. Ah. Oh. A shtick. Okay, I would just want you to explain it for the viewers. Uh, shtick, uh, sh hyphen. We'll tick. probably put it up as a definition. Uh, shtick. Um, and I was the funny guy in the group, and he was super lame. Okay. Uh, I went to prom at Davis High first, and then he makes a whole thing about it. Jesus. And I tell him all my stories. I'm the funny guy. Yeah, you're the I'm funny guy. I'm the musician. Guy. I'm, the, I'm the big fucking celebrity. You're the big cheese. The big dog. The big dog. Um, some people. I used to. Did you wear a big dog? Sorry to cut you off. I, I hate dogs. Go ahead. Um, Hassan Minaj took my shtick. And I saw him in the group. He was super lame. Has mm. this whole Patriot Act thing. I came up with it. Okay. Who's a Patriot? Us. We're the ones. Me. It's just me. Oh. You're making yeah, this yeah, about yeah, 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 me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm sorry. Let's do that again. Um, who's a Patriot? Me. So You. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You. yeah. We can cut it together. It yeah, make we'll, sense. we'll get it in editing. You. Also, my nickname, uh, Daddy. There's a reason people call me Daddy. Like, I'm the big dog, and he took my shtick. You know? Say it. Say it. Say it right now. Daddy. He, oh. Daddy. I thought you said, he call me took daddy. your shtick. He took my shtick, and then... You're the daddy. I'm the daddy. And Hassan Minaj... Do you have kids? Um, Wait, is that why? Are we... Uh, legally, no. Officially, no. So this is something you're talking about sending stuff to bullies. So you're going to send this to him, huh? You're going to let him know, hey, check me out. I'm on Here's the Deal. I'm going to tell you three things I'm going to send to him. What? One. My shtick. The shtick. Two, Two. a dead possum that's going to just be on his house right on the mat. Oh, that is just the worst. smells terrible. Uh, Three, um... You know, it's you know, it's just some chole, like some Indian food, some houses. Like you know, I, at That's the same really time, nice, I gotta actually. be. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, mean, I want to like, I want the compliment. That's part of Indian culture. Compliment sandwich. Oh. Good, bad, good. But I'm gonna passive aggressively yeah. make sure it's the bad. The outside looks good. Get come on the inside. When was Check the last time you did a compliment sandwich? I think I made one yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think the outside contained uh, a nice hug to my girlfriend okay uh on the inside um i didn't remember our anniversary that's something but i did it on purpose so that was part of my plan yeah because on the other side of that sex can we talk about sex yeah we could talk about sex let's not sex is hard for me to talk about mostly because i don't know the age limit of this show yeah. On here's the deal with yeah. Kevin Kelly. Not Jack Strawberry that changed from within t- just half an episode. Anyone ever tell you you look like Jack Strawberry? No. No. Nope. Nope. Because this is the Jack Strawberry that I know. What to do? What to do? Buy that, guys. Buy that. Supports the show. Supports me. Supports Eric and his. Actually, doesn't support him, but mostly me. So songwriting for me is is a very autobiographical process. Well, that, I think that's kind of like how I work too, where I'm I'm editing something. Yeah. Mainly my podcast. Yeah. Naked. Yeah. 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 Yep. Sometimes, but most of the time, the viewers don't need to know that. Yeah. I mean, that's part of the process is digging deep into who you are and putting yeah. like all your love into that material, and then you watch it, and you go. What does love mean to you? Love is like a baby's bottom. Yeah. Well, um, what? Smooth. Yes. Sometimes. Direct. Uh, And sometimes it's full of shit. So uh, quickly, I just want to talk about um, things to cook during Corona. Okay, things to cook. This is a lot. This is this is actually good tips for you guys because a lot of people they they mostly eat out and they don't really know how to cook. No, they don't. And Um, my by the way, my girlfriend's a great cook. Just want to let you know. She's probably she's, yeah, only, she's, she's definitely she's okay. Watching. She told me to say that. Quick tips for coronavirus food. Go. Uh, four tips for your food. One, flash. Um, fish. Fish is great. Fish is yes. You want is low great. density. 
but we want to be able to like have fun, go outside. Okay. Fish, great source of protein. Yes, I agree. Vitamin B, not D, B. I was going to say, give me some of that vitamin D, right, Eric? You're disgusting. That was too far. That was too far. Go ahead. Yeah. Quick tips. Uh, One, fish. Fish is great. Uh, You put it in the oven, and then um, you actually want it raw. So when you bake, go to zero degrees. Oh, just put it in the oven. Don't turn it on. No, no, no. Turn it on at zero degrees. It's a difference. It's yeah, called yeah, yeah. oxygen miliation. It's a process. It's a little over your head. Yeah, um, this is going to be over my oxygen head. Oxygen miliation. And uh, okay. well, you want to put it in the oven no, at zero degrees. It. You cook it. Um, and For then how long? About, um, you want about eight hours. Oh, that's just like go to work for the day. Yeah. Pop it in. And when, yeah. you're, by, when you're home, it'll be out of the oven. Yeah. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take a raw egg. Okay. Put it on the fish cook another four hours that's okay and now what happened to the fish is it's now uh a salmon because what you're, you're putting on a salmonella on the fish oh. salmonella we're gonna put that recipe up on in the uh description yeah uh for you guys to try out but uh i think we're gonna wrap it up there guys i want to thank eric for coming on the show um i mean he i think he brought i'm feeling a lot better kind of also hurt that you don't know the songs on uh, that i write I've heard them. I'm just not very good at remembering the names. I one's like la di do, la di da. I think that I heard that in like an elevator one time. Uh, you talking about Kenny G again?